Hi friends, Jane here. This week on Behind the Play, we're going to be taking a look at Taimu's Symmetra Bamboozle on Volskaya, and use that to teach you a little bit more about scouting and deception. Let's take a look. It's been a struggle for Dallas on this map, but they do lead the series. 1 to 0 already over the streaking Valiant. Now normally, when you're attacking the first point of Volskaya, there's four different paths that you can take to try and attack the point. However, there's also a fifth route that requires crossing over the water and coming in on the left side of the point. The problem with this path, however, is that it requires characters with a very high level of mobility in order to actually traverse that gap. However, there's normally two different problems with taking this fifth flank route. The first one is that it's only going to get value if the opponent doesn't realize what you're attempting to do. And the second one is, while in this case we needed a Symmetra in order to pull it off, we don't actually want to play Symmetra as part of our team comp. Solving this first problem requires that we keep the Los Angeles Valiant in the Dark for as long as possible about our choice to select the fifth path. This requires a little bit of deception. Most teams, and it is the expectation that most teams will traverse through the main choke of Volskaya and proceed down one of the four paths. We want to encourage the Valiant to believe this. In order to aid the deception, both OG and Taimu have a very critical role to play. OG has to throw his shield towards the main choke in a way that the Valiant will believe is us getting ready to attack or move through the choke. And to aid in this deception, in case our transition takes longer than 15 seconds, Taimu throws his turrets towards the main choke point, acknowledging that we have a Symmetra, but again, making it look like we're using this Symmetra and going through the main choke. The streaking Valiant, Dallas trying to just get some more wins on the board. Oh buddy. Sim flank. Oh buddy. And now Sim goes back home. You've done your job. You've done your job, well done. They have no idea. This deception is absolutely critical because the Los Angeles Valiant here is not scouting us. So they're going to realize way too late that we've taken this fifth path. And this is going to give us an extremely advantageous position overlooking the point while the Los Angeles Valiant is forced to rotate late. Now, like I said earlier, we don't actually want to play Taimu on Symmetra, but that's not a problem. Just like how the Los Angeles Gladiators pulled off their famous bamboozle with Surefour on Widowmaker, Taimu is going to return to spawn and swap to Widowmaker. Now he doesn't have to catch up to the rest of the team because he provides an extremely threatening presence to the Los Angeles Valiant, even just staying in the choke that we originally made the Los Angeles Valiant think that we were going through. This two angle of threat is one of the reasons that bunker composition and any double cipher composition is just so powerful. And it just so happens that that angle that Taimu has to take on the Widowmaker is, well, a very direct line from spawn where Valiant is not gonna be able to interdict his presence at all. Solving these two problems, coupled with the Valiant's failure to scout our pathing, gave us a massive positional advantage overlooking the point and forced the Valiant to rotate late. This gave us just an incredible advantage that made the victory in this teamfight almost inevitable to go in the favor of Dallas Fuel, and it did. And then we got to move on to the second point. Now, you might be wondering like, hey, Jane, this is pretty in detail. Why are you telling me about this? Why are you giving away so many strategies? And I talked about it earlier, but just like the Los Angeles Gladiators and their strategy involving Surefour's Bamboozle on King's Row, this is a strategy that only works once. A player, a team, you're usually, especially at the professional level, only tricked once. And you can actually see this on the second round when we got to attempt to attack the first point again, which we did successfully. On this attempt, you can actually see the Valiant that has changed their scouting. And even if we had attempted to do it on the second rounds, the Los Angeles Valiant would have been ready for it. This is a trick that only works once, and since it worked, I gift it to you. 